Hi kids, it's Miss Debbie coming to you from a campground in Potter County, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to do a hiking story time. But before we hit the trail, there's things we have to do first. The most we have to pack our backpack. And the most important thing is to have a first aid kit in there in case you get any bumps or sprains or bruises while you're on the trail so that's the first thing that goes in because that's most important and then we want to make sure we've got plenty of water to stay hydrated when we're hiking so I'll put one out here so it's easy to get and then I've got another little one here that I can put in there oh and there's also a rain poncho and I have some bug repellent in there. So that's good to have too. And then you gotta have snacks when you go hiking, but you gotta have good snacks. So I have an apple, I have some carrots, and I've got a nice crunchy granola bar because you get a little hungry when you're hiking. And stick my hat in in case it gets sunny and so that goes in but today one of the other important things that I got to put in there and I hope it'll fit is we have to have our hiking books to read along the trail hiking so I don't think that's gonna fit too well oh yes they are all right so there's, there's my pack to put on my back when we get to the trail and hike. So we're going to be going to Old Bull State Park and we're going to be hiking some trails there. So I will meet you there, but in the meantime, you can sing this song. A hiking we will go, a hiking we will go, hi ho to the woods we go, a hiking we will go. I'll meet you there kids. Okay kids, we're here at Old Bull State Park and we're on the Beaver Haven Trail. So we're going to get going hiking. We're going to see, maybe we'll even see a beaver dam, like we talked about beavers the other week. Who knows what we'll find. So, we're going to get hiking. We're going to stop and read a book along the way. So, remember, let's keep singing that song. A hiking we will go, a hiking we will go. Hi ho to the woods we go, a hiking we will go. I'll see you at the next stop. kids, I think I see a really nice place to take a stop and read a book. I've got a nice big log over here to sit on. Come on, follow me. Oh, nice log to sit down and take a breath and get a book out. Oh, let's get the backpack off. All right. Here's our first book we're going to read on the trail today. It's called Corduroy's Hike by Don Freeman. Here we go, starting Corduroy's Hike. Lisa checked her backpack. Peanut butter sandwich, juice, hat, jacket. You have to stay here, Corduroy Lisa said. You might get lost on a hike. Lisa began to brush her hair. I will not get lost, thought Corduroy. He crawled into the backpack. I will be safe in here. Beep, beep. The bus had come. Lisa sat next to Susan. What did you bring? asked Susan. Lisa opened her backpack. A peanut butter sandwich, juice, and corduroy. 
How did you get in here? You might get lost on a hike. Corduroy will be fine, said Susan. He will be safe in your backpack. Lisa hoped Susan was right. At the park, Lisa and Susan found a stream with a bridge over it. They dropped sticks into the water. Then they ran across the bridge. The sticks came out the other side. I see mine, they cried. Then it was time to hike. Lisa put on her hat and her backpack. Off they went. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Corduroy bounced along in the backpack. The class hiked higher and higher. I can see a farm, said Susan. I can see a church, said Lisa. I can't see a thing, thought Corduroy. Corduroy poked his head out. That's better, thought Corduroy. Now I can see too. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Corduroy bounced along in the backpack. This is fun, thought Corduroy. Look, no hands. Whoops. <gasps> Corduroy bounced out of the backpack. Thud, and on to the trail. He rolled over and over and stopped face down in the dust. Lisa will pick me up, thought Corduroy. But Lisa did not pick him up. Lisa will come back for me. But Lisa did not come back for Corduroy. Oh dear, thought Corduroy, I think I am lost. Soon two hikers came by. They picked up Corduroy. You must have an owner, said one hiker. She set Corduroy on a branch. Your owner will see you up here, she said. Corduroy waited for Lisa. He sang songs. He watched the birds. Then he saw a Cub Scout troop hiking up the trail. Look, said a Cub Scout, a bear. The Cub Scout picked up Corduroy and tossed him in the air. Then he tossed him to another boy. They tossed Corduroy back and forth. Corduroy felt like a football. Another boy ran ahead. Corduroy flew through the air. They did it again and again and again. That's not very nice, is it? Then, thud. Corduroy landed on the side of the trail. The Cub Scouts walked on. Poor Corduroy. Corduroy tried to stand up. He felt dizzy. He tipped to one side. He tipped to the other. Then Corduroy tipped over. Splash! He fell into the stream. Oh my, thought Corduroy. The water took Corduroy away. It took him over rocks and under a bridge. Then zoom, Corduroy zoomed over a waterfall. He zoomed under another bridge and bonk, stopped on a rock. Oh dear, thought Corduroy. I think I am stuck and I am cold and wet and more lost. Soon it began to get dark. The class came back down the trail and into the parking lot. Lisa sat down and stared at her feet. Corduroy was gone. He had been missing since lunch. She had looked everywhere for him. The teacher clapped her hands. Time to get on the bus. Lisa sat next to the window. Susan sat beside her. We were playing the stick game again, she said. Lisa nodded her head. My sticks all came out on the other side. Lisa nodded again. Something else came out on the other side too, said Susan. Susan handed corduroy to Lisa. Corduroy, cried Lisa. She hugged her wet bear. I'm so glad I found you. Corduroy thought, I'm so glad you've got me, too. Wow, what a hike Corduroy had. That was a big adventure. Okay, kids. Well, I hope you enjoyed Corduroy's hike. Now, let's get moving and see what else we can find on the trail. So, let's sing our song. 
hiking we will go, a hiking we will go, hi ho to the woods we go, a hiking we will go. Oh my gosh kids, we found the beaver dam. Do you remember beaver story time the other week? Where we got the twigs and we made our own beaver dams? Well, here is a real live one. Look at that. There's the branches and there's mud in there. And see the pond? They dammed up the stream to make themselves a pond. This is so exciting. I don't see any beavers though, which is a good thing because this is their home and they may not like me being here. So, wow, all right. So there's our real live beaver dam. Okay, let's keep going on the trail. See what else we'll find. And you know what we do when we're on the trail? A uh, hike and we will go, a uh, hike and we will go. Hi, ho to the woods we go, a uh, hike and we will go. Okay kids. I think I'm ready for another rest, and look at this. Somebody was nice enough to put a bench on the trail for us. So, I think this is a really good spot for us to stop. And we're by a beautiful river. It is just gorgeous. So we're gonna stop here, and we're gonna read another hiking book. Let me get the backpack off. Oh, that feels good. And let's see what we've got in here. Our next one is Hiking Day by Ann Rockwell. Okay, here we have Hiking Day by Ann Rockwell. And we're reading it here by the stream so you'll hear the water in the background. And there's a little chipmunk friend there. Today, my mother, my father, and I are going to climb Hickory Hill. That's the mountain I see from my window. It looks like a mountain to me, but everyone calls it Hickory Hill. I put on sturdy sneakers, find my floppy hat, and fill my water bottle. The ride from our house to Hickory Hill takes about 20 minutes. As we drive, I see fewer and fewer houses and more and more tall trees. As soon as we park the car, we check the map to see which trail to follow. Trails are like paths cut through the woods. We choose the red one. It's my favorite color. She chose her trail just like we chose Beaver Haven Trail. The minute we step onto the trail, we are surrounded by tall trees. We can't see sky. The ground is covered with leaves and ferns. It looks like the inside of my mother's terrarium. It is so quiet, I can hear my sneakers crunching the ground. As we climb higher up Hickory Hill, a fat toad leaps in front of us. Ribbit, ribbit, he says. I kneel down to look at him. His colors match the floor of the woods and the tree bark. Hey, says my father, where is the red trail marker? Uh-oh, mom says, where can it be? Are we lost, I wonder? We look at all the tree trunks around us. Then we notice a prickly porcupine slowly climbing a tree. As she moves up the trunk, I see a red mark appear. I found it, I cry. We begin hiking again. I hear a loud tap, 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 tap. It sounds like someone is using a hammer. A little chipmunk puts a hickory nut in her mouth 
and scurries through the leaves. Getting ready for winter, my father says. The tap, tap, tap gets louder. My mother points up and I see a woodpecker making a hole in a tree. He is looking for insects hiding inside. She tells me he uses his beak to make the hole bigger and find good things to eat. Bugs, yuck, say Dad and I. We see some yellow mushrooms and red berries growing on a bush. But that beautiful friendly toad is gone. Maybe he decided to hike down Hickory Hill instead of hiking up with us. Soon we stop for a drink. All of a sudden, I know someone is looking at me. I slowly turn to see a deer with wide antlers. He leaps away so fast that no one sees him but me. The more we walk, the more I notice the trees are not so tall. The ground is rockier. Now I can see bits of blue sky and even an airplane flying across the sky. Suddenly the ground below my feet isn't the woodland floor. It's a big flat rock. We're at the summit, my father tells me, the top of Hickory Hill. We did it, I say. We all sit down on the sunny, warm rock, and guess who jumps up to be with us? The friendly fat toad. And that was the end of hiking day. They made it all the way to the top of the hill. Let's get back on the trail and see if we find anything else interesting. I hope you enjoyed hiking day. So here we go, and you know what we sing. A uh, hiking we will go, a uh, hiking we will go. Hi ho to the woods we go, a uh, hiking we will go. Okay kids, we made it, we did it. We hiked Beaver Haven Trail and we read some cool books, and we saw a real beaver dam. How exciting. So I hope you all enjoyed hiking story time with me. I enjoyed doing it for you. So till I see you again, take care, miss you, bye-bye.